and says it's not bothered by Patricia DeLille's new political party. The former Cape Town mayor has announced that she'll be starting a new party to contest next year's election. She left the DA last month. Well, Ms. DeLille joins us uh, from Cape Town this morning. Uh, Ms. DeLille, a very good morning to you and thanks for your time. Uh, when will we know all about the new party and who's going to be in it? Well, I have just made the call for action yesterday to all South Africans, good South Africans, black, white, colored, Indian, to join me to build a good movement for our country. Because I believe that if good people do nothing, that's when evil prosper. And there is a need in our country for good men and women and young people to come together to build a good country for us. And so what I will be doing in the next week, two weeks, is that I will be announcing the name for the good movement. Uh, we will also at that stage come with some detailed policy positions. And then, of course, early in January 2019, we will launch uh, the new political party. Uh, it is a very short space before the election, so we'll certainly hit the ground running. But it, I believe it's an idea that needs to be tested to see that we all talk uh, as South Africans about the concerns that we have and that we have to save our country, we have to save our democracy. So I want to mobilize all of those good people to come together to build a good country. Uh, Mr. Lil, how confident are you that you'll be able to get this right, possibly the fourth time around? I mean, from the PAC, you had your run in the ID and now the DA, which has been very controversial. Um, how, how confident are you that this time you, 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 know, you can build a political party that you can uh, s s sustain? Well, first of all, I, I took the two weeks to consult with my family, to consult, consult with my members. I mean, with, with my, my, my family and my mentors. And you know what? I've also done a survey uh, by Ipsos. And the survey does indicate there is a, lots of people are disillusioned with uh, politics as usual, with politics in general, uh, and, and that there's definitely support for such a good movement in mm -hmm. South Africa. And so I've made my decision based on evidence. But over 10,000 people in the past two weeks through a petition that they've organized also sent me those, and I have got those, and I've listened to, to what people um, are saying. And so it's a multi-party democracy, and you know, it's a contestation for ideas. And, and I would like to test this idea uh, with South Africans to say to South Africans, let the good people in our country rise up and come together to make sure that we save our country. Well, and, and, and like we all know, like we said, from the PAC to the ID to the DA and now the, the party that, whose name we learn in about two weeks' time, what, are, what will you take from your experiences, your, your, your political experiences, your experiences with all of these parties, uh, Mr. Lil, and, and, and what you've actually experienced now with the DA to this new party? What have been your lessons that you've learned from all of this? Well, you know, I've been fighting from a very young age in my life. I fought against and the struggle against apartheid. And I've always fought for a cause. It was never about me personally. I can never sit still as a person that loved my country, that's a patriot, to see all of the things that's happening in our country. And I bring my experience of being the mayor, having been the mayor of the city of Cape Town for seven years, uh, build this iconic city, this great city. And I want to take that government's experience of the past seven years and take it to the rest of the Western Cape and take it to the rest of South Africa. But uh, this is a call to action for all South Africans to do something good for our country. Mm -hmm. So that is the experience that I have. I've come out of a very abusive relationship with the Democratic Alliance. I expect a very dirty campaign coming from them uh, going into the future. But you know what? If we believe in democracy, multi-party democracy, we must allow people to test ideas that they come up with. And, and because you're certainly not a Democrat, if you don't want to recognize the 
constitutional right of anybody to form a political party and to contest e elections. I've got more than 50 years of experience in politics and in politics, and I can't sit still. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm driven by this emotion, mm. this energy for the love of my country to do something. And in the next phase of my life, I want to create an opportunity where young people can come in and take over this movement because they are the next generation and they must make sure that we all build a good country. Now, Mr. Lil, is it a clean break now from the DA? No more dealings? Are you locked in any other processes? Or just to clarify for us, is it done? Are there any court battles, court processes still? Or is it, is it over and done? You just want to put them in the past? Well, you've seen that I've resigned from the Democratic mm -hmm. Alliance on the step of the Western Cape High Court because I have put my faith in the independence of the judiciary. I've won all three out of three court cases before the Western Cape High Court. And I was there again on the day when I resigned on the 31st of October to, to bring a review application um, before the High Court of the so-called Bowman's report that came with two different findings, the same company. And so that is still before the court because that is the only place where I'm going to find uh, justice. So that matter is still outstanding. And I, I just want to know, and, and, and I know you probably don't want to say too much about them at, at this point, but you know, the, the, the critics of the DA, if you ask ordinary South Africans, those who are uh, critics of the DA will say that yes, it, it was a, a predominantly white party that took in uh, black members, put them in, in, in position like like you have like Musi Memani as token blacks from where you're sitting now and what your future plans are would you say yes that that is exactly what the party is it isn't what it appears to be I, I believe that the majority of South Africans are not racist uh, and therefore the majority of good South Africans must send out a very strong message and that is that we will not allow racists to speak for us and so my experience in the Democratic Alliance has also made me strengthen my belief in, in, in a, the rest of our country, that in the rest of our country there are good people that are not racist, uh, the majority we want to see our country succeed. And, and I want to put that chapter behind my life now and make sure that I use the energy in the rest of my life that I still on this earth to create that opportunity for the younger generation to come in. So my experience is certainly to, to my benefit, and especially the, the abusive relationship uh, that I've experienced in the DA. I don't believe that the abuser can be rehabilitated, but um, that is history now, and I want to move on with my life. Okay, so when you say abusive, racism playing a big part in that relationship, or the breakdown of that? Of, of, of course, mm. of course, you know, a patriarchy, uh, a racism, th those are the evils that we need to confront in our country. Uh, a patriarchy in that women must say that we as women in this country, we will not allow all of these bad things to happen to us. That when you are in an abusive relationship, that you walk away. That is what I have done because that is what I've always told women that I in an abusive uh, relationship. But I think um, South Africans are ready to, to rise up the good South Africans and to say our country is what we must build and we must protect our country, we must protect our democracy for the next generations. And I will be judged by the polls, you know, whether people agree with me that if good people do nothing and that, that evil will continue to prosper in our country. All right, thanks very much for your time there, Patricia DeLille, former uh, Cape Mayor of Cape Town and former member of the DA. We'll hear about her new political party in about two weeks, she says. She'll tell us, uh, she'll give us a name and she'll tell us who some of the high-profile members are there. Still